Okay, so in this video, we're going to ask and answer the question, what's a logarithm? So, question, what's a logarithm? And the answer may surprise you a little bit. The answer is a logarithm is an exponent. So really, when we talk about logarithms, it's just a fancy way of describing exponents. So what do we, what do we mean by that? Well, let's take a look at something that we're familiar with. 2 to the third power equals 8. Okay, so here 3 is the exponent on the base 2. So we have base 2, exponent 3, and this expression 2 to the 3, that equals 8. So if we want to talk about that in terms of logarithms, and not just exponents, then what we're going to say is log for log, subscript 2, and then the number 8 here, and then this expression equals 3. So the way we read this is the base 2 logarithm of 8 equals 3. So 3 is a logarithm here. 3 is a special kind of logarithm. It's the base 2 logarithm of the number 8. A shorter way of reading this is log base 2 of 8 equals 3. So here's this same expression in terms of exponents. Here's that expression in terms of logs. So these two th expressions here, this one here and this one here, they say exactly the same thing. So now that we've seen this, let's sort of talk about let's talk about how we can think about logarithms if we have to evaluate expressions like this. So what if somebody asked us to find, switch colors here, what if somebody asked us to find the base 3 logarithm of the number 9? If somebody asked us to find that, how are we going to find that? Well, we know logarithms are exponents, okay, so how do we think about this though? Well, what we can do is say to ourselves, okay, the base b logarithm of the number a is the number that b must be raised to in order to get A. Now that might sound really strange and confusing and not very helpful, but let's think about this. So let's think about this, exp or this little sentence here in terms of what we just talked about. So here we have base 2, exponent 3. We know that 2 to the 3rd equals 8. So if we think of these, this example here in terms of this sentence, then B is 2 and the number A is 8 because the base 2 logarithm of the number 8 is the number that 2 must be raised to in order to get 8. Okay, So with this example here, b is 2 and a is 8. The base 2 logarithm of the number 8 is the number that 2 must be raised to in order to get 8. What must 2 be raised to to get 8? 2 must be raised to 3. So now let's uh, use this interpretation with this example here. So if we want to evaluate the base 3 log of 9. Well here, b is now 3, a is now 9, so the base 3 logarithm of the number 9 is the number that 3 must be raised to in order to get 9. What number must 3 be raised to in order to get 9? Well if we raise 3 to the second power, that's going to give us 9. Okay, so we know that 3 squared equals 9. Therefore, this is our answer, 2. Okay. So the answer is 2 because the base 3 logarithm of the number 9 is the number that 3 must be raised to in order to get 9, and we know that 3 has to be raised to 2 in order to get 9. Okay, so let's do one more example just to drive that point home. So let's say we have the base 2 log of 32. What's that? Well here, the base b is 2 again, and then the number a is now 32. So the base 2 logarithm of the number 32 is the number that 2 must be raised to in order to get 32. So what number must 2 be raised to in order to get 32? In other words, 2 to what number equals 32? Well, 2 to the 5th equals 32, right? So if we take 2 and raise it to the 5th power, then that gives us 32. So let's go ahead and uh, erase this question mark right here. Okay, so we know that 2 
to the fifth power equals 32. And if you aren't sure about that, you can just take two, multiply it two by itself five times, you'll get 32. Okay, two squared is four, two to the third power is eight, two to the fourth power is 16, two to the fifth power is 32. So the base two logarithm of 32 is five. Okay, now in other videos, we'll see some examples of converting back and forth between logarithm notation like this and exponent notation like this. And in other videos, we'll talk about restrictions on these numbers because when we talk about logarithms, we have restrictions on what the base can be and what this number here can be and what the uh, actual logarithm over here can be. So we'll talk about those in other videos. And hopefully this helps clear up what a logarithm actually is.